So I bought a continuous ink system for my Epson Artisan 730. I just bought this like uh, a good month ago. And um, it was $99 because I got it on sale. I ordered it on Tiger Direct. Um, I think I paid like $6 shipping or something. Like, no, $3 shipping. Um, and I went through the cartridges very quickly. I printed about 50 DVDs and 46 four by six inch cartridges. That was with the um, 98 standard capacity uh, color ink cartridges. Jesus Christ. That was with the manual focus. Let's how about we try that. That was with the 98, um, I'm sorry, 99 standard capacity cartridge and the 98 black high capacity. And um, I took them out um, this was almost empty, almost empty. Black was about half full. Light cyan was practically empty. Yellow was also almost empty on 15%, 20%, and um, regular cyan was about half full. And I went and it was going to cost me um, roughly $66 to buy six new cartridges. I said, no way in hell. So I went to inkxpro.com, ordered a CISS continuous ink flow system for Epson Artisan 730. It cost me $83 and it came free with uh, 600 milliliters of dye ink. So basically, I got like four to five cartridges worth at least in here. Um, so I can buy the bottles, 100 milliliter bottle to refill each one of these is $7.99. So for like 50 bucks, I can refill all these. I mean, and it says up to 85% ink savings, I believe it. Um, I got some pictures I printed out the downstairs now. I printed out like eight of them, and they all came out beautiful. Um, like four were shot with this T4i, a few were shot with a Nikon, um, D60, and one was shot with a Rebel EOS 650 film in black and white. And they all came out beautiful. Um, as you can see, there's still some, um, air pockets that are working their way out. I'm gonna let you know, if you buy one of these, they're great. Um, wear a surgical glove when you're taking out the plungers because, yes, it does make a mess. Um, I also had a little bit of ink overspill here because it says, listen to it, don't change the level, you know, compared to the printer. Well, I did. And, um, when I did that, I put it up high and I saw the, uh, air bubbles moving towards the cartridges. Well, I wanted the air bubbles to move towards the reservoir so that I could, you know, empty them out. And being the idiot that I was, I lowered it about down here, uh, so maybe like a foot below um, the printer, and all of a sudden, ink started pouring out, and I had a freaking mess on my floor, and the only way I was able to fix it was, well, luckily, I put these hardwood floors in myself, so they were sealed well and good, so uh, some wet paper towel, you know, got it up. Uh, still stained my nice blue drop cloth here, but uh, so yeah, messy. Yes, did I have to modify my printer? Not really. I just shoved this cradle in there, and then it came with an extra one of these um, air filler things. Um, I shoved it down in there where the the latch thing is, um, you know, so it knows the printer heads close, uh, the covers closed. I just shoved that down there. I take this, tuck that in there, like that. I uh, give this a little bit of slack. I close the cover. And it comes down a little rough. Then it slides past, and you can tell you can move it oh, sort of fairly. You can tell the ink's getting through there. And, um, yeah. Close that up. It has little windows in the front, so as the ink gets lower, you'll be able to see it. And it's great. Um, color reproduction is great. I'll get some of those pictures in for you. But I highly recommend continuous ink flow systems if you do a lot of printing like me. I am constantly um, printing discs, um, faces of them, like this right here. And it makes the absolute biggest difference, um, you know, printing discs. And it's so much cheaper if you buy one of these continuous ink flow systems. It says it saves up to 85%, I believe it. I mean, it really, it does a good job. The ink quality is great. Beautiful.